it's all about the game to them. Some players, they just want to win because they want to just be the athlete. But one thing is for sure, papanalunin at papanalunin kahit na luging lugi. It's crazy because everything that you prepared for and, and things that you're not prepared for, they all come together and it's just magical to see that on, on stage and see the emotions of everyone, even the production, right? So it's just a, a unique experience. That's why I always say it's the best job in the world. Parang ano rin yan eh, parang, parang art. Mga parang hanggat may sumusapo ka sa'yo, magandang titigil. Uh, para sa akin, sobrang kalaga na ito kasi parang ano ito eh, world stage to eh. I mean, sabihin mo natin na ano. Pero kasi iba, pag, iba, pag sinabi kasi yung words, iba, iba yung feeling. Anong, kahit anong org yung pinipresent mo, nandun pa rin yung Pilipinas, di ba? Pilipino tayo, parang sobrang nakaproud. Mobile Legends Bang Bang to me is life-changing. Such a massive part of my life that I am glad it Magandang came gabi, around. Mga kapo kong no longer defending champions of the Philippines in the world. Echo All of the things that we've done are have consistently shown that we are on the right path. And I'm pretty sure that not only me, but everybody in the industry knows how to move forward. And I think there's a lot more that we can do for the esports industry in the Philippines, and I'm really excited to see what that is. It's really that one thing that gave me direction in life, and it's a huge blessing, if I may say. MOBB was just a job, you know. The MPL was just an opportunity that came knocking, a way for me to pay more bills. But now I can't imagine doing anything else. I've dedicated the better part of half a decade to this, and I want to see it through. But in this time, we partnered with Moonton. That's why the official gaming smartphone for M5 is the Phone 6. So that you can really tell that even pro players get to really enjoy the ROG phone, using it being used in a tournament setting. So you can see that this phone, if you're just an avid user, can really tell that it's for professional esports use. How does it feel where well, it's nerve-wracking? Because, you know, you have a lot of eyes on you. The public, it's for the mass audience. You know, MLDB is very prominent here in the Philippines. Many supporters. So, whatever you do, people are really going to watch out for that. So, it's, um, it's a proud feeling, actually, representing your country. We are the host country for um, this series, so we're pretty proud about that and we're just really happy to share what we worked hard for. Uh, Mobile Legends is you know, one of the biggest uh, esports titles currently in Southeast Asia. It has provided a lot of opportunities for esports athletes in our uh, side of the globe. So I think it's, you know, it, it continues to get uh, bigger and bigger as time passes by. Mobile Legends, well, to me, right now, it became a huge chunk of my life. I have one co talent pang asar namin yan. Hindi ko na lang in name drop. <coughs> uh, Wolf. Uh, Pangasar namin yun eh, kasi parang, oy, ano, part na ng buhay may mela, parang ganun. So, yun siya, it became a huge chunk of my life right now. It's a community for me. I, I could easily say it's my job, it's my career, it's like the game that I like, but it's the community, the friends that I've met eventually, the teams that I've been able to handle, the fans that supported us, supported the players, hated us, hated the players, you know, all these combined together makes it a very fruitful community and uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Uh, for me, Mobile Legends is one of the most popular esports in the Philippines. They are the best Filipino. They have a long break, break the world. For me, it's one of the most important things in esports. Esports is, to a lot of people, confusing, terrifying, but when you just think of it as sports, you will get it. You will understand the energy, the story, the drama, the tears, the joy. Uh, Esports is re really relevant, especially in the gaming industry, because people come here to witness and be competitive. The competition, that's one. Uh, in both esports and sports, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. 
There are athletes, there are competitors uh, that are training every day that make this their life that they've dedicated to. Uh, back then, it, it was shaky but it showed a lot of promise. Uh, it had a lot of indicators that we feel were very positive in terms of, let's say, growth. Uh, I'm happy to say that all those in you know all those predictions that we had um, basically, basically came through. Sa gitna na tayo, so we're getting there na maging successful yung esports sa Pilipinas. And hindi kami tumitigil para ma-improve pa yan kasi yun naman talaga yung goal namin. Well, Philippine authorities are set to implement a community quarantine of the entire region of Metro Manila this Sunday, and that's slow down the spread of COVID-19. The pandemic changed a lot of things about the world, and that changed the behavior of how our fans engage with the players. I'm one of those persons who joined the uh, community uh, during those times that we were isolated or that we had movement restrictions. So. By that time, I would say it was already a very uh, booming community. It's, it, it was experiencing rapid growth at the time. And to this point, I think it's still continuously growing. Even in the pandemic, we already had superstars. We already had leagues that we know were going to be there years down the line. And that's where we are now. Back then, it was just growing. We were happy if we were going to hit 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. Now that's a normal day of MPL. Welcome to the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M2 World Championships live from Singapore. The Mobile Legends Bang Bang M3 World Championship. Yeah, M3 felt surreal because M3 was one of those M series that still had some quarantine, but it was shortened. And it was an M series wherein everyone was flown out and the logistics were crazy and a lot of us did not know exactly the scale of what the crowd would be like. So for the first M-Series to have an actual crowd again, it was honestly overwhelming when we came into Suntech. It wasn't even the biggest hall in the building, but when we came in and we saw the rows upon rows upon rows of chairs and looking at the stage, it was a two-part stage by the way, from groups to playoffs. It blew me away, just seeing how many people came through. Again, a lot of them were people who actually flew out. There were a lot of Filipinos, even if it was in Singapore. And it felt, it felt, it felt crazy. It felt like, is this real? Is esports back? And lo and behold, years later, esports is more than just back. Esports is stronger than it ever was. My favorite M-Series, oh, well, I'm gonna be biased towards uh, M2. That was my first M-Series involved in the broadcast, in the Filipino broadcast. Wow. M3, I think. Well, actually, M3, and it's, it's a toss-up between M3 and M2. M2, first pandemic M-Series. M3, first post-pandemic M-Series, because we had actually had a crowd. I remember last M4, I was part of the watch party which happened at the uh, market. market. It's a completely different feeling to see it happening in your own soil. That was, you can see the community actively supporting them, even teams from like other countries, which just goes to show that MLB in the Philippines is something na parang ang laki -laki na. So, nakatuwa lang isipin yun and na, nagkakaroon ng opportunity ngayon yung fans to witness and see the players, yung idols nila live. And um, I just think or I just hope na parang it's just the start of many more to come. I, I, I would definitely say it was M2 because that's, that's where uh, our team won the World Championship for the first time uh, for the Philippines. I would say that it's also you know, a very memorable time for all of us because it was uh, during the pandemic. Uh, I was very happy because news outlets would report that, you know, um, we won the World Championship at a time where Filipinos needed the good news during that time during the pandemic. So, uh, I, we, we are all very happy during that time because, you know, it, it's, it's a very different feeling when you bring pride to the country. So. Uh, 
am super looking forward to seeing AB Brand go up against Geek Fam and of course Onyx. Brand versus RRQ. Right now, I want to see Onyx because they win a lot in Indonesia, but I want them to go up against AP Brand. I'm here for AP Brand. It's still <laughs> a little bit too early to say what my favorite matchup is, but currently, of course, the opening day, we had a rematch with our M2 um, competitors. So I'm happy to say that we, you know, first day for the Philippines, it was a sweep. Uh, we had a 2 0 win against Burby School, so we're very happy about that. Blake is the only one left. Can he defend? AP Brand coming in with the Lord. And they are going to take this series in a 2 0 sweep. Lord can be half health, they have to work it out. King using heavy spin. Can RQ stay in for this game? Tornado Park never going to be able to get Louise going to fall. Face going down. The code is strong as Black International sweeps the series. Two, or no, three for one. Now marching forward. Carney now bringing it down. Oh! And the fight's it. It's a shutdown and a win! Go Fusein goes into the air with a crossbow of tag, finds one! He's able to bring Kai Ace immortality, but the base is getting chucked down! The body's distracted! He oh. it! And it's GG! Well played as the crystal cracks under the Onyx right now, pressure! They don't win this. They're going home. Sunshine. One last award to rule the ball right here. This should be it! Blacklist International! with a dynasty better than most, are going to move on in the lower bracket. Of course, you can hear the yeah, crowd like it. Wild. Yep. International make it forward. Let's welcome on stage Blacklist International. Now, you get to move on the next round. What can you say, Rana J? Pangarap namin, malapit namin, and konti na lang. They go for it again. Yeah. The back line with the shadow is Hope. Sawa in a little bit of trouble. Wait, Bamba. Bull Barrage oh, comes out. Oh. And then you, people are dropping. A double kill for Carvey. The Lord. Deus Vault trying to finish things here. Sunset Lover locking on. Kid Bamba there as well. Felix the base. down. The base drops. And the sunset closes on See You Soon as the Dark Knights rise. And Blacklist International are ramping up the pace. They're trying to end this soon. Dude, the damage from Blacklist is unreal. What can this will do? Holy Bath is a raging sandstorm. Everything in the kitchen sink descends the whole ground. Favorites to the no low end of done. Once again, game number one here, the upper bracket final. The team to start the lead here will have the momentum. Oh my god, AP Bren. This could what? be it. With one last incandescence, the Sky Kings have the golden road open, set for them to make the one last leap. There's only one thing that can explain this. The Anna Slangin! Anna! Sabi nila baba yan, it's the replay. We want to go for Agent Zero, because this time it's going to be a faded rematch between the Sky Kings and the bees for the grand final! Welcome, this is the MLBB M5 World Championship with me, LaBelle, as well as Mirko and Wolf. How are you guys feeling? Great, better than great. It's the grand finals. There can only be one word to describe it. It's hype, Wolf, yeah. LaBelle, and I cannot wait to get into the games. So let me hear all the Sonics on it. Let me hear AB Brand. Jump in! 
it to me! Kyrie already setting up for the eternal keyboard, absorbing quite a lot of damage coming in from Fiu as well as Ogwen. Not gonna be having priority going into the turtle fight. The opposing side, Bufus goes in! Three man penalty zone off the shots, his damage coming down, and that's gonna be Keyboy who shoves the back Kyrie. With the Rexy battle with the implosion coming down as well. Now it's gonna be Fiu. Very low first blood picked up by Sans, but a good appraiser as well. Turns it around. Now Boots all alone. It's a two for one trade. Make a two for two for the turtle, but the Boots gets taken down here. Chronic will lose out in the first fight of the game. Acting onto all four. Clapteezy holding onto the turtle. That's a good Astral Sphere onto the back. Boots gonna be zoned away for now. Clapteezy jumping in, getting a taunt, knocking Boots up. Clapteezy doing the same thing. Now with the Inferno and the Circling Eagle. Boots with the flicker backwards. That might just be a kill. DPZ to fall oh! back. Dude! Dude! Gets a snipe from downtown. Shot again, Astral Echo. Now revealing a few members. Kyrie gonna be engaged on right now with the Circling Eagle. The Tommy and Fraser's Wrath. The initial strike coming out with Azan and Tommy. lost to it now, everyone from AP Brand. They're marching forward. They're looking at the face. Flash easy goes in. The Hive in the building erupts. The way it's been now, but the turret, the base, has been taken away. AP Brand snatch a victory. Backwards defensively. That's a flicker as well. Don't run. Look, King Keyboy. Picks up first blood in AB Brand in the bottom lane. That's a penalty zone connecting on the open, but he gets a massive shove on the three. Kyrie walks out with the electrifying beat. Super Mario goes to the bottom lane. Kyrie with the electrifying He misses it, but Kyle doesn't. He finds another. The boy falling south of the lane. Pressure down. A decimated Kyrie. He'll still be able to walk away. Super Mario. Push him down. Kyle will lose his life. A shutdown for Boots. Keyboy zone it down. The members! Boots! Oh, Boots! 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 Kaltizi melted down again, and now it's going to be two members in desperation going in. One second on the Baptizi. Who expected a full reverse sweep? It will never happen. Oh, they get. Oh man. A flanking maneuver on the oh. CW or Bravest Fire. The Baptizi. On his ass, assassins, man. He wants to try. Flicker, everything used up on the keyboy, taking first blood. <laughs> Kyrie in a bit right now. Block Shadow in and he finds it. Open chasing him down right now. The Block Shadow gonna be popped in. Kyrie versus the world. AP Brent chasing him down. Kyrie. Shadow kill. Boots is here. Sans also with a primal wrath. Kyrie in. Going in the back. Crestle and tag. The Super Mario with a heavy spin.
point for AP Brand. One more win is needed to keep the trophy in the Philippines. One more win for them to be the two-time world champion. Just one more. Just have it right now. One way out for Onik, it's to fight. But AP Bread are doing the best they can too. CW on the Caltese, he's taking a half HP right now, but he has the Rangers. Bam! Wild Tires from Oakland! Caltese very low, CW watching forward a few deals of damage. Well, CW once again doing a lot of damage, boosting the Oakland very low, good steal. Trying to get out of that house, right? Locks him down, and that should be a kill over. Boots the Heavenly Fist is what we call him in Indonesia. Final slash only on the Keyboy. Peter Fury! Keyboy flies three, that's another knock of two parts. Was the holding down of Fury? Back out! Into the Astral Sphere. LCW chasing Q down. Forcing another what? big punch from Boots. Unbelievable. He wants to find a target. It's back up, Astral Sphere. Keyboy in front of it all right now. Kyrie's gonna be chopping damage. Surprise on both! Finish Fury on to four. CW is now here. The Lord, who gets it? It's gonna be an all out fight. CW marches forward to shut down the redemption. We for Calvin without a tie. We can hear it now. The chant coming in from Onig. Ogwem. Sans looking for a shot. Kyrie jumping in. CW. This might be the end for this game. Ogwem running away. Onig has found a miracle. Onyx denying the 4 1. Onyx continuing this battle. The vengeance, but he gets knocked up. Final slash into the vengeance. Into Kyrie, one shot. But he's still able to survive. Ogwin turned around now. Still brought back to the team by the Stampede and his AP friend who win in a prolonged team fight. <laughs> Ron's taken out, the flicker with one second off, facial migration though. Leo, they were to find Ventures, still gonna be popped in by Flaptesia, and Boots jumps into the back line! Symphonic Force from Boots! Crossbow tag though for Super Marco Saz, Ghost Bursters in, Super Marco is down! Ogwen jumping in, another one from Boots! Keyboy, the one to tag that, but I think that they, this is sacrifice to take the Lord. And nice touch from CW again. Boots falls as well, the sacrifice necessary. Sans and CW, looking the back. The damage coming through, CW for nature. Oakwood, vengeance, CW, guns, hit, down. It's a wipeout. But Flap has respawned. Onyx need to back away. Forcing the vengeance and finding CW, even forcing the win of nature. Can Ani even force it? Oh, that was a big mistake. Plays in the west from CW right now, the fallback from the Stampede! To the Ani force! To execute them in the back! That's been new, deals of damage, but that's a double kill! Super Mario! Punch from Bonsai, Galtele! That's the Keyboy! With a wild turn to take us to game seven! There is absolutely no way we can end the M5 World Championship without going all seven games. Whenever I'm on desk and whenever I call their matches, I do my best to just give them what they deserve. That to highlight and to showcase and to add layers to what they're doing and to help the audiences appreciate more what they do or in some cases when it's not a good way to look at it or if they did something wrong or the outcome isn't how they thought it would be to make it nuisance to, 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 to add emotion to it right so it, it's never as simple as you did something wrong you're bad it's more of why you did that how it came to be and what you're doing to be better than that so i'd say the way we feel when we play mlbb is how they feel when they compete times a million just imagine all of the eyes, all of the lights, all of the fans, all of the criticisms just amplifying how we feel when we play.
Tonight we're about to make history once more. Legacy in the making for both of these teams. No team has ever won the M Series twice. No host country has ever won the M Series. No team has ever completed the Golden Road. Onik is on their way. To everyone tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last game of the M5 World Championship where either the Golden Throne will be completed or the World Tour be completed. We're jumping into the game where this game will determine the World Champions. Flaptese finds it, the real world relation. Pop him, first blood secured by Flaptese. Another round coming down as Boost deals some damage. Retribution battle still for Kyrie, but few finds it, and that's gonna be a skill from Keyboy. Oh, good climb all around the Brazers, right! Ogwen gets the kill onto Keyboy, and Onik lose out in the first turtle fight. Oh yeah, definitely AP. And Kyrie brought back in the team, and Onward, near Shattered, not connecting back, and ah! With the rough ways, Ogwen bowing, few as well. That was Kyle, with an appraiser advance. Keyboy fights the enemy. Another one onto Marco. Oh! But Sans! Locked it up, canceled out. Too bad! Kyle Teasy shuts Keyboy down. A turn of our memory on Teasy. Has the appraiser's wrath, gets chucked out. Penalty down! By Boots! Bob Teasy, Ravy Sans to the back. Keyboy looking for a flag right now. Goes in, but doesn't find anyone. Rough waves. Only on the one. Boots brought back once again. Owen, good seal. Earth Shatter to lock Boots down. Kyle doing the same thing. Keyboy with Oddity. Kyle Teasy with lock up. Owen with a follow up. And that's the Earth Shatter to lock Onyx down. Onyx tried to go for the play, didn't have the items to back it up, and unfortunately lost so much because of that gamble. AP Brent now doing the Lord as Kyrie. One against oh, three. Oh no. Brought back and taken down. Onyx with the brink, and AP Brent capitalized. Now on the boots, DPZ. See the bottom lane, and they have the Brody. Mid lane, gonna be cleared up right now by Boots. He's still holding on to the bottom wave. The base! They're gonna They're end looking it. They're the base! They're looking for base! AP Bren! The Sky King has been taken down! The Golden Road to death! Bren! Love! Malakas! The goal, the whole country has never won! A World Series! Looked in his face! They kept the trophy here! They continued the domination! They are the card breakers, the two five world champions. They are A P Red. It's a pleasure working with you, gentlemen. My name is Rafael. Alongside with me, Wolf and Marco. It's a pleasure serving all of you here. But now we are throwing it over to Mara with a world. Champions! And now, it's time to raise the trophy that will immortalize this legacy. In three, two, one, ladies and gentlemen, AP Brand, your two time world champion. This epic clash of titans, AP Bren has proven their greatness. The only thing I would usually remind aspiring pro athletes is just show up. Show up to tournaments, uh, join a community, make sure to compete. It doesn't matter if you consistently lose as long as you understand how to win. Just show up. Uh, compete consistently, always, as much as you can, because that's the only way people will see who you are, how you play, and probably how you can see yourself improve. Just go ahead and continue playing.